I love the Tailwind app. It is perfect for scheduling Pinterest pins and another great feature is the analytics. When I go to a new blog post, I've just published a, a blog post, what I can do is I can hover over the image and up the top goes the Pinterest button but you'll see that there is a button, a schedule button and that's the Tailwind schedule it button. It is an app extension for the Chrome browser. So you can hit pin it and pin it to your Pinterest board straight away. Or when you press this schedule it button, it'll open up in a new tab and you can choose to add it to a board and schedule it. So for example, I can put this Pinterest pin on my social media board and it also gives the option that you can send the pin to Facebook and Twitter at the same time, which is a brilliant feature. And then you've got two options. You can set a custom time, so you can set a day and time. So for example, you can set it for uh, every two weeks on a Thursday that it's going to pin it at 9 a.m. Or you can add it to the queue now. So adding it to the queue, I'll show you what that looks like. When you log into Tailwind, this is what the dashboard looks like. In my dashboard, when I go under publish and click schedule pins, it will show me what pins I have coming up and in what time slots. So my next pin is going on a tutorial board and that's scheduled for today at 10.22 p.m. So it's the last pin for today and then you can see Friday. These are all the time slots that I have with pins already scheduled to go to a board. So when you scroll down here, you can see how long you've got um, already scheduled pins for. So I've currently got till next Friday. Another great feature is you can see your schedule over here under publish, click your schedule and these are the time slots that Tailwind is pinning your pins to Pinterest and a great feature is it gives you suggested time slots. These ones in dotted outlines that are kind of more greyed out are suggested time slots to add to your schedule. So currently I have about 18 time slots on Mondays. So I can increase that and I can use the suggested time slots by just clicking on them and Tailwind will make the new pins time slots for that section and we just have to queue pins to go there. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So normally I I click on any of the recommended time slots. If you don't want to do those particular time slots, you can add your own custom time slot by clicking this blue button, add time slot, and you can move the slider. So for example, I can make an 8.20 p.m. time slot and a 10 o'clock time slot, and let's go for an 11 or one. You also have the option to now pin from Instagram and you connect up and sign in with Instagram. A great feature about the analytics is tracking your brand page. You can look at your profile performance and it will tell you how many followers you now have and how much it's increased by in the last seven days. So 118 new followers on Pinterest. How many pins have been pinned? I've had 100, uh, 714 in the last seven days. How many repins? and how many likes on Pinterest. And they've also got a graph showing you how your followers have been increasing from the last seven days. And it's got a virality score, engagement score, and engagement rate. More of the analytics and data you have available is under board insights. You can see what boards have been popular. So my mirror glaze cake, the engagement score is quite high. This is one of my viral pins. Halloween board was really popular. We're on the 3rd of November, so it got really popular in the last week of October. Next, my board, how to start a cake business. Cupcakes have been really popular for a while and my tutorials board, and you can see your most popular boards. One of the best features of Tailwind is the pin inspector. The pin inspector gives you your really popular pins for the last seven days 
and they may or may not be your pins but it'll tell you what website they're from and how many repins and likes you got so from this area you can choose to reschedule the pin so it gets repinned again so i'm going to do that to my cupcake board and just hit schedule tiramisu cupcakes were popular my pin on how much to charge cupcake pricing guide i'm going to hit reschedule and send it back to the cupcake board again mirror glaze quite popular so i can reschedule my most popular pins in here. Halloween was popular, like I said. Top 12 cake flavors, reschedule that to the cupcake board. So this information gives you a really great idea of what your audience and what your Pinterest followers are loving about your board. This information is gold for letting you know what your followers, Pinterest followers, are loving and pinning on your boards or from your boards. So going back to my main schedule pins and I want to schedule more pins in. What a, Another way that I go and find more pins is go and log into my Pinterest account. I can go to my analytics and overview. So remember, I've got a business Pinterest page and it's going to give me incredibly useful information. It's given me my top pins for the last seven days. These are all Halloween ones. I can click on more Pinterest information. And when I scroll down, it gives me the top pin impressions. So if I click show more, I've then got cupcakes and cakes, dripping ideas, Halloween cupcakes, 20 free advertising and marketing strategies. I'm going to open that up so I can schedule that. I'm going to open this one, going to open this one. So I'm clicking, uh, right clicking on them and clicking open new tab. And in Pinterest, you now have a scheduler button. The Tailwind app will automatically prompt you on how to add this. It's only a couple of clicks. It's quite easy. So now I want to reschedule these pins. So I'm going to hit the schedule button. It'll open up in a new tab. It'll bring up the pin and then you can choose what boards you want to add it to. So I've got some board categories already set up in Tailwind. So um, this will automatically add to 11 different boards. But let's say you don't have those that already set up. You can just click on it. It'll drop down and it'll show you all your boards. So I can add this to the Angel Foods board. I can add this to bakery and shop front. I can add this to start a cake business, grow a cake business, uh, cake business advice. And it's going to schedule one, two, three, four, five, five pins in five different time slots. And I'm just going to add to queue now. Now what Tailwind app will do would, after every time you schedule is automatically prompt you with some suggestions. Now it's not very good at coming up with something accurate like Three marketing resolutions for 2016, cake business advice. I don't, it says for selling online. I don't think it has anything to do with cake business. None of those look like they have anything to do with cake business. You can hit refresh suggestions and that way you can find other people's pins that you might want to pin and schedule. No, it's not giving me any good advice there. That's okay. I close that. Another one of these pins that were popular from the analytics. I'm going to schedule that. It'll pop up open, how much to charge for cupcakes. I'm going to put that on the cupcakes board, angel foods board, advice, pricing, start, grow, and add to queue. None of those suggestions or any or anything that I want to add. I haven't set up a Christmas board yet, otherwise I might add that pin to my Pinterest uh, Christmas board, but I'll just close out of that. And thirdly, tiramisu cupcakes were really popular, so I'll schedule that. I'll put that under recipes, starter cake business, cupcakes, and add that to the queue. Beautiful, it's given me some good suggestions this time. So the best lemon cupcakes with the lemon cream cheese frosting. It's a good image. It has 46,000 repins which is amazing. So that's a good quality content. I'm going to add that to my queue. There's some blueberries. I'm going to add that to my cupcakes board. And this one is orange and raspberry cupcakes. Yum. And I can even choose to add extra boards in here as well and add to queue. Back in the Tailwind app, let me show you where they've added the pins. 
you scroll down to the bottom of your list, you can see that they've added them sporadically throughout the mirror glaze, etc. Now to tidy this all up and even it out, what I do is shuffle the cube. So you click this button, hit yes, shuffle my cube, and it's going to shuffle them all around and put them back in order. Now I'm not sure why they haven't just filled these spots, maybe because I just added these spots moments ago. That could be why. And that is a glitch because there is actually a pin in there and it's showing up as nothing, but there are pins in there. Or maybe they're taking ages to load, I'm not sure. So I've now got pins from today to next Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm not sure why it's showing those spaces. That That's just a glitch, I think, right now in, in Tailwind app. Normally, when you hit the shuffle the queue, it'll bump everything bumper to bumper until a day and time of the week, and then you can add more to your queue. So I love the Tailwind app for doing my Pinterest scheduling and my part of my Pinterest strategy. Um, it is pinning pins to multiple boards at different times of the day and only takes me about 30 minutes per week to come in and schedule some pins for about a week's to two weeks worth of pins. It's an incredibly good time saver, far more effective for getting more pins on more boards and therefore more people following you, clicking on your pins and more traffic to your website. If you want to learn my Pinterest strategy and exactly how I five times to my traffic in six weeks and now I get 100,000 page views per month from Pinterest, check out my Pinterest strategy. You can grab your Tailwind app through my affiliate link, angelfoods.net forward slash Tailwind.